Hey, my beautiful people, thanks for tuning in. So today's video is how I plan for my preschooler who is actually in pre-K three. So I wanted to show you guys how I put together his tray. Okay, so this is our bookshelf here and I have set up this bookshelf so that everything is ready for me for my preschooler and convenient for me to pick from all the little manipulatives. I have magnet letters. I have cards that I'm using. Um, these are like uh, Play-Doh mats that I have to mat laminate. But those are for J JJ. And uh, these are magnetic letters. And I have like pretty much every manipulative that I'm gonna use for him or for Jonah here available for me. And all his little uh, books and so forth are here as well. This is our preschool um, books here. And also I have trays in the bottom there that I use for him. I also have this caddy full of more manipulatives and our art supplies and so forth. So everything is available for me to pick from and put together every day. So I actually have shown all the things that I have in here in a previous video, but basically I have like puzzles and uh, word games, math games that I use for Jonah and JJ and even for JM and just different manipulatives that I can choose to show him different concepts. So everything is here for me to pick from and now I'm gonna show you what's on my tray for the next morning. Okay, so the first thing I have here is a matching fruit file folder game that I made for him um, last school year. And so what I do is I use these little containers uh, from the Dollar Tree and I just set that up for him and I bring it to his little table. And so I don't use the tray. I kind of using the tray right now to hold all my things. But I put the things on top of his table. And then he'll do this activity. Um, and then he'll be ready for the next one. And this one is a number match um, Velcro activity. And I got this from our toddler learning binder. This is something that I've shared previously as well. I'll uh, link it down below. It's from JDA. And what I'm doing now, because I don't have that time to sit with him and go through all the concepts at the same time, I'm just taking the pages out and I'll show him that concept uh, once a day or one at a time. So it's been very convenient, especially because it's already ready for me and it's an extra activity that I have available to uh, keep him busy and he's learning. So I really like this. So this activity is super easy. He just has to match the number to the turtle. So number nine turtle to number nine turtle, super easy. And we get to go over numbers one to 10. Um, so I'm working on number recognition with him and is a very quick and easy activity. Okay, so this next activity, this is part of a set of games that I won on Instagram with uh, the reading corner. So she sent me tons of tons of games and I love it. I have pom poms that I'm gonna use with this, but I won't put it on the tray until uh, the morning of. I just take that little pom pom um, drawer out completely and I give it to him. So we'll do this activity actually together and I also could use this little, um, I forgot, a tweezer <laughs> from the Dollar Tree that I had bought a while ago. And then the next activity is a tracing activity. I'm teaching him how to hold this pencil correctly and then this is from the Kumans book um, that I have for tracing. And he'll do this page front and back and I also like to give him the big fat pencils from Ticonderoga. I really like these pencils, they're also very durable. So that's his next activity. And then I also have a cutting activity. I'm trying to teach him um, how to cut and this is also a um, page from the Kuman book. And so that's pretty much all the activities that I set up on this tray. Um, and if he goes through them very fast, I do pick some things here and there, like I'll pick building blocks or a puzzle for him to do. Uh, I'll give him the pom-poms. He likes to sort them in different colors on the little uh, containers. So, but that's what I'll do. And then he also gets some tablet time while I'm teaching Jonah how to read. So that's his learning tray, you guys. That's pretty much what I do and how I set it up. And what I do also is that I put it all the way on top of my bookshelf so that he won't see it before his little class. I've also been trying out these dot to dot from Dollar Tree. I wanna start doing little dot to dot lessons with him and this works so far so good. It's a little runny, but it works. But let me show you also what I have in his little book bin here. And this uh, book bin is from the Dollar Tree. I have his folder that I fill up with all the activities that he's already completed. And then I also have this Coleman books here, and this is where I take all my pages from. So I have the Tracy one, the cutting one. I also got these dot to dot um, ABC printouts from online for free. So I have that folder set up for him. And then I have his wiping clean 
uh, books and this one I haven't started yet this is the uppercase letters I also have to go in and erase because this was um, a uh, find from a thrift shop and it was already written up a little bit so I will be going through that maybe in the middle of the year and oops that fell <laughs> and I also love this alphabetics this is something I use for Jonah um, when I was teaching him letter recognition and he, he loved this book so I'm hoping to use this book with J, JJ too it's just a fun way of learning the alphabet and seeing it how it becomes into something that matches its sound and then as far as the books go I just go into this bin here I have all these preschool um, appropriate books that I had already in my library set up here like counting books and alphabet books and just different fun books that I have for him so what I'll do is when Jonah's having his um, independent time I can sit down and, and read a book with JJ and I also have my preschool brain games book and this I've talked about a thousand times in my channel I love this it's super awesome for teaching different concepts I also have more of the games that I won from the reading corner down here, um, just very accessible in case I have to pick them out and keep them busy with something else, especially those tracing uh, cards as well. And I also have pattern blocks here that I can do with him. I have puzzles available for me and I also have a drawer full of um, games that I do, file for the games and puzzles that I have available for him. So that's it you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching what I put together for my little guy and his learning tray. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, I would hope that you would stay subscribed and connected to our family. See you on the next one.